updates. I did list those on Facebook Marketplace. I have a few things listed on there. I did sell one set of bedside tables that I purchased. I just didn't like them. I bought some more vintage postmodern ones instead that are being shipped to me. But I just want to go over my color choices. So like I said before, the whole house is painted either white, which is cool, kind of cool. And then the painter wouldn't paint the trim, which I'll show you later in the video. And then we painted one from Reliable White. Now Reliable White is a little more the palest, palest brown, but I kind of wish the whole house was painted Panda White, which is more of a in between the Arda White, the Reliable White. This is more of like a grudge, but anyhow, I did also buy some other paint over there. But yeah, so I'm gonna show you the process and a little update. So what I did notice is if you have sun that's hitting you from the south side, like if the sun rays are hitting you from the south direction, your paint is gonna be warmer, it's gonna be lighter, and it might be the color that you want. But if your house has predominantly sun coming from different direction, then you might wanna consider going a little bit more warmer, if that makes sense. It may seem subtle, but you see how it looks like that? Like a weird half-ass painted white trim. Well, I'm using the same color as the walls and just going over and it just gives it a better look. You know what I mean? That compared to that. I don't know if you can see the difference, but I like the more minimal look when you paint the trim. Okay, so look at the massive, of, massive amount of weeds. So I'm just picking them slowly. And when you grab weeds, you know, you got to make sure you grab it so that you get the root. But of course, they're going to go back. I also got this to add to the hose that will help repel some of the weeds, I hope. But I've got my work cut out for me. <clears throat> we do plan on getting a gardener at some point, but I haven't really met any neighbors. My husband and I were talking to ourselves last night, like, where do we move to? We don't even know these people, you know? But they seem pretty friendly. And... Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get to work. So one thing is cool is that these windows are actually back in style. Now this house was built in the 90s, so you're gonna see a lot of those windows. And the cool thing is that, um, the cool thing is that all the modern designers today, they're still using them. So not saying these windows are great. I mean, they're old and should be replaced with similar, but I'm glad that it's a look that's still very much um, there's been a re rebirth of it is what I'm trying to say but so yeah so it's a little messy right now but you can see how much better it looks that I painted the trims all the same color and I still have like five more doors to paint it's very hard but so now there's less of a a jump between the wall, the doors, and the trim. It's all the same color. And I think it makes a big difference. Um, we're not gonna do any fireplace remodels because we have another goal in mind and it's like trying to be good, practice self-restraint. There's a, so many things I would change. I would change the cabinets. I would change the countertops. I would change the floor. I would change the fireplaces. I would change the spindles. But I'm trying to just be happy with how it is now because it's actually still really nice. So we painted this room a color called Reliable White. And I kind of wish I would have picked it for the whole house, but you can see it's a difference between the two rooms. This is more of a gray, this is more of a warm. So we can incorporate a bunch of warm woods, warm tones, warm furniture, and it won't be such a, a clash. And this side is a little more cool with the Eider white, but um, I also painted the trim. Okay, we definitely have to fix these stairs. There's no way around it because it's like a tripping hazard, but I painted the trim. Before it was like bright white. I'm gonna insert some photos. Okay, so this is how it was before, before we painted the dark gray, the Eider white, but you could see the white trim and the dark gray walls. It was nice, just wasn't my style. 
and you can see how the trim was bright white and the walls were a very dark gray. Okay, here's after we had them paint. Now we only had enough money for them to paint the walls, not the trim. So they painted the walls, but they kept the trim bright white. And I'm not really a fan of how it's like jarring against the wall color. I prefer a much more muted, altogether um, minimal look. Now it's either white with the matching trim and it looks so good. I'm gonna replace these sconces. I have some really cute modern sconces. And I'm like relieved. Here, you can still see the white. Here's a good example. You can still see the white trim. See what a difference it is? I didn't even bother to paint her room all the same color because she's a mess anyways, my six-year-old daughter. And this room is actually color called marshmallow. I left the trim white as well, but can you see how it's such a big jump between the trim and the wall? And then when you look right here, it blends. See how it blends more? Yeah, so that's what I was going for. Actually, I need to fix this. So I painted the trim, but there's a couple spots where the brush strokes aren't very nice. But yeah. So again, if you're interested in any of these colors, this is Eider White, E-I-D-E-R White, um, which has kind of a grayish color. So our first home in 2008, I painted it all shades of gray. I didn't want to go for a gray again, but I ended up picking the quasi-gray. Actually, I let my husband pick it, and then I picked a shade darker. And so I'm on the cool end, but I was able to get my warm color in. He so graciously painted this whole room reliable white, which... It's the palest shade of brown. It has a brown undertone if you look it up. And you can see it's like warm. You can see it up there. You see how it's warm versus the cool of the hallway? Actually, Eider White has a violet undertone, violet and gray. And that's why my husband was like, why is it pink up there? It's because the way the sun is hitting it and the paint has a violet undertone. So it's picking up the purples. But yes, we have Eider White. And I was able to get my warm, reliable white right here. And at first when it went on, I was like, oh my God, it's pink. But, and he left a spot right there. So you can see the difference between the colors. But yeah, either white and reliable white. It's so hard to pick whites, you guys. But you have to look at the undertone. So Google the undertone of the color you want. And if you want warm versus cool. Bye, house. We love you, house. Bye, house. Okay, so anytime you want to tenderize meat, you buy some cheap cuts, like this is flank steak, cut it at an angle, and I'm gonna show you. We're gonna put this marinade on it, and this marinade is gonna tenderize the meat, but you have to rinse it off after like 20 minutes, okay? And then you put your real marinade on. But this is how you make that Chinese style beef and broccoli, like the tender, super tender beef. This is how you do it, and I learned this trick in okay, culinary. So have the meat cut nicely, like on a bias, Gonna add the baking soda, and then add a little rice wine to help activate the baking soda. Now let this marinate for a good 20 okay, minutes. Okay, so now you gotta rinse off, and you can even feel the smoothness. Now the meat feels like velvet. You're gonna rinse off all that baking soda. You gotta rinse it off, because if you don't, it has like an off taste. So rinse it all off, okay? And then we're gonna add the yeah, I make my own marinade, but I don't feel like it. So I'm gonna use some Korean barbecue, some soy sauce, because to me it's never salty enough. I'm gonna use some sesame oil. Well, I'm out of it. Let me use a little black pepper. And then I'm gonna crack some, uh, I mean, that wasn't black pepper, that's white pepper. I'm gonna crack some black pepper after. And you guys, I can't wait in my new kitchen. I'm gonna have like a whole cooking series on the same channel. Yeah, we're gonna let this marinate. I'm gonna crack some black pepper. Let this marinate, and then what we're gonna do is we're either gonna broil it or stir fry it, but we're gonna coat it with a little, we're gonna make sure it's a little more dry, and then we're gonna coat it with some cornstarch, and I, mean, I could show you how good it's gonna be. Um, yeah, I guess I'll show you guys after dinner, but I'm gonna let this marinate for a few hours till dinner time, and it's gonna be so tender. Make some masa dough. Well, what? You got a lot of nerves in, as, in, as non grated a little, um, what's that called? Jalapeno. 
Okay, so now we're gonna sprinkle both sides of our meat with the cornstarch. You want it to be a little more dry so that I can get the proper color. But now I'm gonna show you how we- okay, I'm gonna show you how we fry this meat up. It's better for it to be a little dry, but it's fine. Okay, flip it. Whoa, I'm letting it get burned. Don't let yours get that burned. Okay, the meat is very tender, very, very delicious. I just put some green onions and sesame seeds, but I have to get this bar cart ready because I've had this bar cart forever and I want to sell it because I had to take everything and put it off because uh, we have a little built-in bar where, where we're moving to and it just needs to be revamped. It needs a new cabinet, some glass shelves, maybe a new countertop. So I want to focus on that little small project. We're not going to do major renovations because we're, we have another goal we're saving for. So there's really no room for this. You know, I've had it for like five or six years. It's super cute. Got on way Wayfair. It's like this copper color. It has a mirror at the bottom and a glass shelf. And so I'm selling it for $130 right now. I think I paid about $200 for it. So it served its purpose. I've definitely gotten $70 worth of wear out of it. I used to actually have it in my methadone clinic. When I was a methadone and drug and alcohol counselor, I had all my snacks and drinks. I had so many offerings for my clients because they're always hungry, you know, homeless, disenfranchised, formerly incarcerated, etc. So I love how they usually come to my office and go to this bar cart and get snacks. So anyways, I'm happy for it to have a new home. Super tender, super, super delicious. So I'm here at Ikea to get the track system and I only have $200 cash my wallet's in my husband's car. My Apple Pay is not linked up to my new bank yet, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, so here's everything for the drapery. I don't know what the heck this is, but I like it, so I just grabbed it. Okay guys, so in the next video, I'm gonna be up in our home. We're gonna drive up there and I'm gonna show you how we hang up the drapery system. Now I hope I got everything right. They had nothing at Ikea, like everything was sold out. Ooh, excuse me, I wanted the three track system. They only had the one track system and I'm not sure if these things even come with the equipment to hang them up. So anyways, and I also got this little cheap throwaway thing. It was like $3, like a temporary thing for one of the, the laundry room area because I didn't take a measurement yet of that spot. So I'm gonna hang that up and then we're gonna put this in the dining room and the breakfast nook if they fit. So um, I got the track systems. I got some various parts and pieces. I got like four packs of these. And I got these which help you double up and make the pleats for the curtains. And then I got this. I hope it's like a little area rug. I might have to put some double-sided tape on it, which I don't even wanna do because it'll ruin the tile. I got this, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a coaster. I thought it was a little eating container for the baby but anyhow so i got all this and i got these draperies i got four packs of these and these were like the cheapest because like i said i only had 200 dollars on me and so these i'm gonna like stack up and even there even though they're shears and they're clear if you pack a lot on the track it is more opaque you know i'm not gonna stretch it out so it's all thin i'm gonna squish it up so anyways stay tuned for the next video i'm gonna show you how the, those go up if it works and yeah wish me luck and i'll see you guys next time all right bye